Today I'm just going to show you a, um, a quick video, uh, complete takedown, field strip, cleaning and reassembly of a Springfield XDM 9mm uh, pistol. I have a longer video that I'll leave a link to in the bottom. Um, this one's just going to be short and sweet and really just give you all the essential information that you're going to need. So I'm only going to use a few things here. I'm going to use a bore snake to clean the inside of the barrel. I got a brush here to, uh, well you'll see what I use that for, to spread the cleaner around. I have original gun oil, which is actually a cleaner lubricant and a uh, protectant. That's all I'm gonna use to clean this uh, firearm. And I have some cut up, um, an old t-shirt cut up, nice soft disposable cheap rags. And that's all we're gonna do. I'll leave uh, a link to the gun oil and bore snake down below the gun oil it, there's a 10% uh, coupon as well if you're interested in that so here we go first things first I'm going to make sure the gun is completely unloaded we have no magazine no magazine and no round in the chamber okay so lock the slide back to the rear using the slide stop turn your takedown lever to the up position, grab a hold of the slide, move it backwards, your slide stop will release, and then you can slide it right off the front of the gun. Next, you're going to take your recoil spring, press it back slightly, spring loaded, let it release. And the next thing you just want to reach down in, get your barrel, take your barrel out. And as far as taking the gun apart, that's it. So now that I have the gun apart, I'm gonna take my uh, original gun oil. And what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna coat everything. I'm gonna put a few drops in a couple of key areas here. And I'm gonna use this brush to just kind of spread it around in there a little bit and let it start breaking down the dirt. Okay, I'm just going to kind of coat everything with a little bit of oil. Sorry about the mess, but it's kind of hard to film and do this at the same time. Just coat it down with some oil. Put a little drop here. A couple of drops right down in the barrel here. A couple on the outside. I'm going to smooth that around. One of the reasons I use original gun oil because it is non-toxic, non-staining, and non-scented. That means I can do it in the house, which is what I'm doing this. You don't have to worry about the smell, getting yelled at for stinking up the house. And I can use this without gloves. I'm not worried about it hurting my skin. It's non-toxic, so it's safe, safe stuff to use. I'm just going to spread the oil around all the areas in here and just let that start to and make sure I got it on the breech face in here a little bit. Got the little brush on this side. We're just going to let it sit for a few minutes and start loosening up all the dirt. All right, now that the gun oil has had some time to loosen up all the dirt, we're just going to take our up t-shirt here and we're going to wipe everything down it's going to take off the oil as well as all the dirt for the barrel after wiping it off I'm going to take our bore snake feed it through here a couple of times it's going to pull the oil through and clean that barrel real good just put it through a couple of times depending on how much you've fired the gun and how dirty it is but I usually just run it through twice usually gets real nice and clean nice and shiny inside ramps nice and clean now I'm just gonna start wiping everything down one of the ways to get into this groove here real good to get all that cleaned up is just to use your brush and to let the brush push the rag into all the nooks and crannies. It's going to get that all nice. 
and nice and clean, nice and dry. So take a few minutes and wipe down all the surfaces with the with the brush and a rag. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do the same thing with this, and I'm going to clean up the frame the same way, just wiping it down until we get everything nice and clean. Okay, now that I got it, I've got everything wiped down really, really well, uh, you can see how clean everything looks at this point. Got all the oil off and all the dirt off, and this just looks super clean. Super clean everywhere. So now what I'm going to do, we're just going to lube it up real quick. The XDM manual actually says just to wipe all surfaces with a lightly oiled cloth so that's an option if you want to do it that way that's what the manual says but um i'm actually gonna I, I, I like to put a couple drops around here this is just kind of to protect the finish from um from any kind of corrosion just cover that with a little bit of oil i'm going to put a drop a drop or two right on this guide rod assembly I'm going to put a drop here, a drop in this area here. Things are moving around. I'm going to put a drop, two drops in each slot where the frame rides. On the frame itself, I'm going to do the same thing. One drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. I'm going to put a drop down in the area here, the... Uh, trigger and the hammer area it's not technically a hammer but it does release the uh, firing pin so once all those places are lubed up a little bit we're just going to put it back together just drop drop the barrel in like that be careful here with the tension on the spring not to let it fly get that right in there so it's going to look just like that Simply, you want to make sure this is back up. I had it down so I could lube it and clean it. I think that's in this position. Just line up the slide. Put it right on there. Might have to force it just a little tiny bit. Push it all the way back. The slide lock to lock it into place. Take down lever, back into position. Push the slide back. It will release your slide lock. And now you are good to go. And I like to work the slide back and forth quite a few times to kind of spread the oil around. Now you'll notice some fingerprints. But finally, you just need to wipe everything down. Any excess oil that may have come out, get it all wiped down. Beautiful. It is now ready to go back to the range. Good to go. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and check down in the description for a link to get yourself some original gun oil. Thanks for watching.